I like to call to order the personnel committee. Uh, clerk, can take roll call, please. Alderman Ted Grady. Here. Alderman Rapella. Here. Alderman Nichols. Here. Alderman Taylor. Here. Alderman Sevenick. Here. Alderman Langdon. Here. Alderman Schmidt. Here. Alderman Tom Grady. Here. All are present. The mayor. Here. Okay. Mayor Merkis. Here. All are present. Uh, all right. Thank you. Uh, we'll entertain a motion for the approval of the minutes. Oh, I see a little light over there. <laughs> Alderman Nichols. Thank you, Chair. Move to approve the minutes from the personnel committee. Meeting from May 17th, 2021. Second. We have a motion by Alderman Nichols and a second by Alderman Tom Grady. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed, nays? Minutes are approved. One item to discuss today, and that's the bridge, bridge tender's pay rate. I'll let uh, Director, Deputy of Municipal Operations, <laughs> Thad Brown, discuss. Should be on. Uh, All right. Good. Thad, so we're looking at um, your memo here. Can you kind of just run through it on a high level before we ask questions? So we've had a couple complaints on the wage here. Um, we've talked about with the positions that we have and the hourly rates that we do from the memorandum we have. Sorry. Nervous on this one. I don't know why. <laughs> no, it's very it's, like me, it, right, Don? <laughs> it's a good memo, so yeah. Uh, really so periodically, we do a pay comparison on some of our people that we have when we feel they deserve it, and we have some background here to go off of. Going through it, we we gave you the bridge openings, seasonal bridge openings for the Racine Street Bridge. We gave you the Oshkosh. Uh, and Brown County. These are a little different than what I've got from the county. I went off of their website talking with them. I wanted the right information in there instead of just hearsay. So we do have that available here. Do you want me to read them off or? No, you don't have to. Okay. I can have them here. So the Brown County that they have is the difference on here. I don't know if you guys understood that or not, but their guys are full time that they have. They do uh, hold CDLs and they do snow plow in the winter. Uh, talking with that uh, bridge operations manager that they have there is they're still struggling and having a hard time finding employees at that for full time doing that. Um, Oshkosh right now there are three employees down which I just heard maybe five employees down um, for what they have and through uh, Jason Lamb that we have here um, they're paying at the 1937 to 2078 hourly, so they're starting rate. They're not even at that. They're all moved above that. So with the comparison that we did with our uh, full-time employees, the bridge tenders, which I'm calling the full-time, but we have two that are our full-time guys and then two of them that are fill-ins, so they get more hours than the full-time ones do. They have nine years of service, and we are at $17.13 an hour. With looking at it, we're pretty close on the bridge openings and closings that we have for them. And with nine years of service, that's pretty outstanding that we've had bridge tenders that uh, stuck around that long and have been uh, serving us in the capacity they are. So. Okay, thank you. Uh, we'll start with some questions here. Alderman uh, Stan Sevenick. Thank you, Chair. Um, I'm just going to make the motion, if that's all right, and that would be to recommend to the Common Council increasing the bridge tenders pay to 1863 midpoint of the Winnebago County Oshkosh rate. We have a motion by Alderman Sevenick and a second by Alderman Tom Grady. Further discussion? Alderman Langdon. Thank you, Chair. Um, so we pay these bridge tenders 
And at the end of the year, don't we, doesn't the city get reimbursed for all that money, Mayor? So um, does it matter to them what we make the raise? I mean, what could we raise that to $20 an hour? We'll direct that to, to Thad. Thank you. Yeah. So with uh, talking with Jason Lamb, who is um, part of the Wisconsin Department of Tran Transportation for the bridges, he gave me a um, parameter of what he would be willing to go up to on it. And we are still below that. But could we I go up to that? Oh. Can I provide a comment? Yeah, Alderman. 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 I do that all the time. <laughs> it's, uh, go, go ahead, uh, City Attorney. Thank you. Um, we were contacted by employees to look at this, and at first we had indicated that, you know, this is already budgeted. And what it's budgeted for every year I do ask before the budget is created you know are there would you want us to look at anything as it relates to seasonal workers this would be seasonal workers and um, the response I got was no you don't need to to look at it so um, we kept the wage the same I'm trying to think if we increased it by the two percent this year yeah, okay, uh, because sometimes we don't do that, but in, for this particular year, it did go up the 2% as everyone else. Um, and I did send out on the, um, there's a little listserv or group of HR people around the state, and I did inquire um, about hourly rates. I only received a response from two it just means that you know people were probably busy didn't get an opportunity and they were both well one of them was milwaukee nineteen dollars and twenty four cents an hour uh, that's for residents and or excuse me non-residents and the resident rate is nineteen dollars and eighty one cents an hour um, and then manitowoc uh, did respond and their 2021 market or midpoint rate is $17.91. and Their range is $15.67 to $20.15. Um, when we look at these rates, it's something that um, I will include when I'm coming to the Common Council to talk about other wages, but I would caution about you know, going to the top, of course, because we don't know exactly. Um, we haven't looked at this. This is just something quick that came up and um, something that's being brought before you. So I would just caution not to go too far and, um, without us looking at this, and particularly since we need to look at other positions um, and how these rates fit mm -hmm. with other positions and the wage rates that we have for other positions as well, or, you know, we'll be coming to you again. Um, and then finally, I just wanted to mention that um, while the 100% of the bridge operation costs are covered right now, that will not be the same yeah in the future so but th that you know really isn't uh, of as much concern to me I mean I would just be looking at you know what are other rates and is it fair with other um, people that we're paying here thank you thank you attorney um, Alderman Randy Rapella thank you very much Alderman Grady they had just two questions how many hours do they work per day what is their shift? They're working eight to four and four to noon, eight hours a day. Okay, and then when does the, 
when is their boating season? Are they working about four months a year or five? It's April 15th to October, or sorry, April 20th to October 15th. So that's about uh, six months, four to ten. Yeah. So that's it, Dad. But we can't keep, we can't raise their pay higher than yours. So we'll keep it at that 18 something. All right. Thank you. And also, uh, Alderman Repeller, Repella, Repeller. Boom, boom. Um, excuse me. Thad did, I reached out to ask Thad a question about how many hours this is kind of on a yearly basis. Yeah. And it's about 2,800 hours okay. at a buck 50 an hour, so it's about a $4,000 increase for what, oh. what this payment period is. Um, Alderman Taylor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> um, you know, I look at the two employees that we have, nine years, and they should really be at the top of their scale by now. And uh, with the Winnebago County scale, and the other employees should be, I would, I would think, somewhere around the midterm. And I'll tell you how important this job is. Uh, in the past, uh, we've had some bridge tenders that the ones we have now are so efficient in closing that bridge. And once we own it, which we're going to own it, you want people that are going to be able to operate this properly. In the past, we've had some that, uh, I'm not kidding you, but I, my, my family lives on the river, just a few homes down from the bridge and family functions and over at now, my used to be my grandfather's home, my brother's home, and the damage that these somebody can do with closing this bridge that's not that efficient at it, um, it can cost us a lot of money in the future. These bridge centers we have now, these guys are like architects. I mean, they just, they just, they got the touch for it, and they're really doing a great job of what they're doing. And I think the two employees should be nine years. I mean, you look at employees in this building that would be here, they would be at the top end of that pay. So I would like to see, uh, I'll make a, uh, an amendment to the motion that uh, the two Nine-year employees uh, should be at the top end of the county, which is 1962 per hour. Uh, and you got to remember, these guys are operating two bridges now. They're operating the Takel Street Bridge and the Racine Street Bridge, <coughs> and it's a uh, it's a very stressful situation, yeah, especially with the construction season. And uh, earlier in the year, there were six gates open, and when you have high flow and you have sailboats and and uh, there's a, a lot of responsibility that is a with, long this, motion. with this position. So the motion was, uh, the amendment was that the two nine-year employees would be at the, the top end of the county, Winnipeg County, which is 1962 per hour. And then the other two would be at the 1863. So the top two nine-year employees should be at the top end of the county pay at 1962 an hour. Is there a second? No second. Motion fails. Any other further discussion? Alderman Schmidt. Wait, Ann, I gotta turn here. We gotta find out. There you go. There we go. Okay. It's opposite. The only thing I would like to maybe throw into the mix, and I know that we check with other municipalities as to what their pay scale is. Is there any way when we check with other municipalities, we can find out when the last time their pay scale was increased? You know, could, could we be asking a municipality and they give us an amount and that may not have been increased for several years or whatever, just to get a, a little bit better flavor if we're gonna compare to different municipalities? Captain Attorney. If, are you referring to um, when they've had a wage study? Because all of these positions, just so you know, were part of the union. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, Act 10 came, so they were taken out of the union. And there were um, many, well, let's see, Oshkosh, I know, ha did a wage study since then. Um, I don't know about Brown County. Um, I know Oshkosh did off the top of my head. Actually, I think they've done two of them since then. Uh, 
so I know that they have, you know, done complete wage studies. Uh, but I'm, and I'm not sure if that particular position was looked at. Um, I do know just in general, seasonal positions um, have been difficult to fill for many municipalities, not just this one, but other ones. And so they have had to, you know, look at how is it that we can attract persons uh, to work and, you know, they have increased to a certain extent their wages but are still having difficulties, not just in this position but other positions as well. And to, to that point, I think Alderman Taylor made a, a, a nice motion there, but maybe that start, start of the budget process then this coming fall when we do look at the tender space, so maybe we can do something there, but in the meantime, I think the motion of 1863 per hour increase, our total is, is, is in line with the competitors. Alderman Taylor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, for that analysis of my motion. I think that would be a good place to go back into and, and, and look at this, but I just want to, we have public works, uh, employees that drive a $300,000 garbage truck, a $250,000 loader. Well, we're going to own this bridge when the state passes it off to us, and none of us are happy with that. But it's a $25 million piece of equipment that somebody's driving, and we're going to be responsible for that. And I, I think it's, uh, with today's wages, uh, I, I, and, and with these dedicated employees, uh, it'll be a good time to we look at this in the budget. Thank you. Thank you. Alderman Zevenick. Oh, you're done? Okay. I thought you had a question. All right. Are we done with discussion then? All right, clerk, let's take a uh, roll. Motion carries 9 0. Okay, good. With that, that's it for discussion. Nice job, Thad. Uh, do I have a motion for adjournment? Second. Second. All right, we are adjourned. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed?